Estás. It's time for another thriller in Manila as we bring you the second Masters of this 2023 FIBA 3X3 season here in the heart of Makati inside the Gloria Activity Center in Manila. This FIBA 3X3 Manila Masters is brought to you in part by our global partners, Chooks to Go, our ball and apparel sponsor, Wilson, and our official timekeeper, Maurice Lacroix, a face to a voice. What's good, everybody? Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice of 3X3. Glad to be back around all of Manila's. Get it? Manila's? Never mind. It's going to be a lot of those bad jokes uh, over the next couple of days, so get ready for it. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun here in Manila, as always, as we get set to see four of the top eight ranked teams in the world. Total of 12. We'll also see some other talent. That's one right there. That's Noah Lazarus, one half of Q York. He and... Uh, T-Rex will be holding things down with the MC duties. Long time 3X3 lifer right there. And Noah Lazarus and, and T-Rex, but that's not it. 3X3 is not 3X3 without some uh, some nice sounds. So we got some, some of the best DJs in the game. We think we got the best DJ in the world. Of course, that's DJ Lass all the way from France by way of Paris. He's here as well. So... Look, don't don't try to battle playlists with these dudes right here. Young Bawal, our other our other DJ. He'll be in the mix as well. So look, everybody's in place, but what we expect to be another lit tournament. Just just the second of eighteen to start two thousand and twenty three, y'all. DJ Lass. Gotta give DJ Lass his camera time. There he is. With the fresh cut too. I like the fresh cut, DJ Lass, and the uh and the bifocals. Looking looking pretty good. Uh <laughs> Of course, we got a lot of action to get to, but before we get to our first game of the day, how about we get you refreshed on the rules of this game we call FIBA 3X3. Welcome to the world of 3X3, baby. It's an exciting new brand of basketball. You got two teams of three players on the court, and you got one player sitting on the bench here with me. <laughs> Playing on the half court with one rim. With the official 3x3 basketball made especially for the fast-paced outdoor game. The first team with 21 points is your winner or the team with the most points after 10 minutes. You have just 12 seconds on the shot clock and the clock is ticking, baby. Anything inside the arc is worth one point, while anything outside the arc is worth two. Woo! That's how I do, baby. And once you score, the ball doesn't stop. Offense turns to defense just like that. It's a 10 minute sprint. Yeah, you know what they say. Uh, half the court, twice the fun. That's how we get it done in this 10 minute sprint to 21. Again, Kyle Montgomery, aka the voice of 3X3, here with you as we get a look at uh, what will be a busy, busy, busy 2023 schedule. Wow. We saw Oob take the title in our Utsunomiya opener back at the end of April. And here we are at our second Masters of 18 stops on the World Tour City playlist this year, which will culminate in the World Tour final. That uh, destination to be determined. We'll let you know exactly uh, where that's going to be. But we're going everywhere from Chengdu to Abu Dhabi to Manama. to Look, we're all over the world. It's the World Tour for a reason. So... Here's a look at, uh, at the squads that you'll see, the 12 teams in action over the next two days, going for $122,000 uh, in total earnings, a $40,000 grand prize. The number one ranked team, the heavy favorite, Oob, a remade Riga squad, Beijing with the super dynamic duo making their World Tour debut this year. Here's our previous Manila World Tour winners. Manila West got it done way back in 2014. And the Serbians have handled business ever since then. Here's your top earning teams for 2022. They got some major paper. Ooh, we shine in E with 376K to top the charts. 
in, a, in their first World Tour final win. They'll be looking to do the same this year. As a matter of fact, uh, last year they won it here in Manila as they won the first four events to start the season. They're looking for the second straight here in 2023 as we get a look at the groups. Oob leading the way in Pool A. Look out for Manila Chooks with Spider Mac. Of course, uh, as you get down through the groups, as we got a quick look at them. Don't sleep on teams like San Juan. Of course, Riga, even though they don't have Las Manas and, and Miezis anymore. They'll be going, getting it going in Pool B and Pool C. You got Amsterdam High Pro and Fushian featuring Tabot Vorvort and DeMeo Vanderhorst against his old team. That's going to be fun. Group D, Sansar MMC Energy with the emerging star, Anand Aryan Bowl with Beijing featuring Batman and Robin. A new entry, Al Wakra. We got plenty to get to. Buckle up. It's going to be a ride today here inside the Glorietta Activity Center. We'll get introduced to our first squad, which is Team Oob, one that you should be very familiar with. Dayan Majesorovic, he's three for three in Manila. He just won his fifth title in Utsunomiya. He's joined by Yushuan Liu, the world number one. That man, Strange, Dr. Strange, Strahinya Stoicic, The Beast, Marko Brankovic, no Nemanja Barac this time around. Uh, out with a quad injury, I believe. So a slight substitution on this Oob team, but I don't think that they are going to miss a beat. Now, for the local favorites, here we come. Manila, Chooks to go. One more again, shout out to our global partner. Signed a five-year partnership. Couldn't be more happy than we are for our partnership with Chooks to go. And here they go. They got Tosh to say. Paul Desiderio, Dennis Santos, and there he is, Spider Mac. Mac Talio, the floor general and leader, local favorite, was born in Cebu, but he's known all over the Philippines. He's like 3x3's version of Pacquiao. He packs a punch, got a deep bag, and you don't have to look any further than this highlight reel from last year. Strahinya Stoichit remembers. <laughs> ah, okay, our two world-class officials getting in place as well for the uh, coin flip. As again, it's about to go down to Manila. What's good? Hey, before we get started, let's get some orders of business out of the way, shall we? Hey, follow us if you're not already at fiba 3 x 3 That's on all social media platforms. Those are their, those esteemed officials. Alex Talasenin and Cecilia Dort, world-class officials, will hold this first game down as we begin group play. Use the hashtag 3x3WT. Get Chooks to go a follow as well. Chooks to go, Filipinas. Want to thank our uh, official suppliers as well before we get this one off and running. Skelda Sports, Inlio, Bode. Nothing but love as we bring it to you from the Ayala Mall. There's the world number one. Get a close look at him. Strahinya Stoichic, fresh off an MVP performance in Utsunomiya. I'm going to change his nickname to MVP. That's all he seems to be adding up these days. He had nine points in the uh, final to top Antwerp. 30-year-old was unstoppable. Was Strahinya Stoichic. And there's Spider Mac right there, 29 years old. You don't want to get caught up in the spider's web. He will straight up embarrass you. Spider got handles like he got eight arms. We're going to see if he's G-cash in this one. Manila Chooks played in just two Masters last season. Had an eighth-place finish in Manila. They did make it to the quarterfinals. Did not perform so well in Cebu as they dropped out day one, finishing 13th. But the local hero, Mac Talio, he showed some heroics last year. He led Cebu Chooks to uh, uh, day two with a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater against Zavkan. 
So that was something that, that he won't forget. But now he switched teams. He went from Cebu Chooks to Manila Chooks. And now he's trying to pull up the upset of the tournament, game number one. That's going to be easier said than done, people. Let's get it going, though. The energy is right here inside the mall. It's crazy. It's levels to this. Three levels of spectators checking out the action as we get it going. Game one here in Manila. The voice is here with you. Let's go. Dr. Strange, awkward layup attempt, goes begging, tipped out of bounds. And that'll be red ball. They'll get the fresh 12 to start with it. Oh, not red ball. I got my colors mixed up. And it'll go to the Beast and company. As Strange moves right, he'll swing it left. Brankovic, all net, all wet. This dude is an absolute marksman from beyond that two-point arc. You leave him open, he's going to double up all day. As Oob start this game off, two zip. A near 40% shooter from long range in 2022. He'll get a rest as Dejan Majstorovic will step in for the Serbians. Oob, we shine in E on the attack. Strahinja on the drive. He'll kick it out to the Maestro. Maestro on the move like the lease is up. Oob is up, three zip. That one snuffed out, stolen away. Strahinja in the Chinese Kobe's. He's got some extra speed in those that make him lighter out there. Four zip. So you knew this would be a, be a tough hill to climb for Manila, even though they're playing in their own backyard and they got every fan in this building behind them. Oob is a machine. Had a 14-game win streak last year. And Santos couldn't get the shooter's roll. Rebound goes to red. Two ball from the corner. Uh-uh. Vrankovic in and out. Makes his move. Decides to give it up to the maestro. The maestro. Soft touch on the pass. Leads the beast to the bucket. Maestro swings it up top. The beast will get it back. Oh, the maestro. Get it out the bottom of the net, please. Seven zip skunk right now. Talio with the ball fake. Drops it off. There's a foul on the way up. And that's some good news for Manila. They'll get a chance to get on the board. Taj say a new add to this Manila squad. We'll look to get the Filipinos on the board. say. He says nothing from the line. Stays seven zip as the maestro will kick it over. Look out for Dayan here in uh, Manila. I was watching, I was watching Oob uh, practice yesterday, shoot around, and uh, Maestrovic. I saw him hit ten of about fourteen two point attempts. He hit about nine in a row. He's locked and loaded. Meantime. Spider Mac on the move. And Spider Mac will draw the foul. Mac Talio. Loved all over the Philippines. Hooped on the streets coming up. No shoes sometimes. Played college at uh, Southwestern University in Cebu. Won a championship there. He does not win at the free throw line. Uh-oh. They were snoozing. And caught him sleeping for the layup on the inside was number two, Yu Xuan Li. It's 8 0, and you can hear a pin drop in this place. The Filipino fans are quiet. That's hard to do. I think Filipino hoop fans are rivaled by nobody. Oh, dime time. So the maestro threads the needle, and Liu with an easy finish. Lou playing in place of Nemanja Barac. So, Oob is playing without their diesel engine, Nim Diesel. And no worries so far here, game one. Manila, they need to send a smoke signal or something. They need some help. 
as we are just over two minutes into this game, and Oob have already got nine points in this sprint to 21. They're almost halfway there. Toyo off balance. He got a banking account. Gcash, 9-2. Spider Mac, Spider Mac, wild shot, he's going to get it back, poked away, ran out of time, 12 second shot clocks in this game, so a shot clock violation, we'll give it over to Oob again. Two from the right wing, he makes the net sing, it's the beast, Broncula sinks another one. Santos, that stroke was not stroking. It's a 10-point game. Oob is all over the Filipinos. World number one, Strahinia Stojicic. He'll get the check ball going. Liu will drop it off. Oh, the maestro. He got his stroke now. It's baby making time. 14 to 2. Maestro this time on the drive. Look at the lefty lay. That's grown man business up in there. It's 15 to 2. Good score on the inside. That gets some cheers from the crowd. They need a whole lot more of those. Paul Desiderio. That one rolls off. Red will get another chance. Dennis Santos splashes that one. Got an offensive foul call. And the Barrera chance of starting to bellow throughout the mall. But it is a 10-point game. Make, make no mistake about it. Santos is a good shooter. That may be where, where Manila need to start is finding him some open shots. I'm sure Oob is going to key in on Spider Mac, you know, understanding his ability to create shots offensively. Santos could get some looks, and he could potentially turn his game around. Although Oob needs just six points. It's going to start on the defensive end for Manila. Oh, nice move. He got low with it. Great balance. So say. Or get his team within nine. But the lead right now is still fat, like your uncle's belly. Approaching the six minute mark. Uber played beautifully to this point. Oh. Brankovic just missed. Stojicic on the cut. Oh, what a big nimble. The Euro step. Okay, Sase. So say, no good at the line. Stays where it's at. Dr. Strange will drive and kick. Brankovic. He's automatic. No stick shift. The Beast has his team up 17-7. to seven. He is 3-for-3 three three from beyond the two-point arc. Got a little too fancy on that pass attempt. He's going to check himself out. He said, I'll show myself the door. That's what I say after, after a bad joke. I'll show myself out. Thank you. <laughs> no need for the fanciness on that pass. Anyway, we continue. Tayo behind the back like espionage. 17 to 8. Still a blowout. But a nice play. Take another look at Spider. With a delicious dish. Defense. 
Rakovic contact on the way up. And he will draw the whistle. And shoot one. Shoot. Actually two. He was beyond the two-point arc. I thought he was inside. I was wrong. Brankovic coming off a great performance out there in Utanamiya. Making a big impact like usual. And he picks up where he left off. Knocked down both free throws. Spider Mac hitting with the cross and the sauce. That was sweeter than hollow hollow. 19 9. So even though Manila Chooks trail 20 to 9, Spider Mac is getting to it. Spider Mac with the cross and then the reverse lay package. I see Young. Game point though for O. This one's very likely going to end quickly. Once Maestro gets a hold on it, he puts the round thing in the round thing. And that's that, y'all. Uh, yes, yes, y'all. So 21-9, Oob, easily over Manila Chooks. That's how game one wrapped up, and, and they did it in half the time. You want to talk about some efficiency. Still 4.54 left on the game clock. That's got a chance to be our Maurice Lacroix fastest game of the tournament. That was crazy. That's going to save us some time. We'll have an extra break before we get to our second game. It was, it was just that bad. I'm sorry. I got to call it like it is. Uh, hopefully, if you're a uh, Filipino fan, hopefully Manila Chooks has a better showing in game number two against Utsunomiya Brex. But a 12-point victory for Oob as they win this one going away. Brankovic, again, three for three from distance. And while we did get some flashes from Spider Mac, uh, he, he had flashes. Brankovic had splashes. Maestro as well. As Ooh proved to be just too much. Too much. They didn't lose a game in Utenamiya. Spider Mac getting filthy with the crossover and the leg. But the maestro has seen enough. Ends the game off the glass. Easy money for O. So, game number two will move us to pool B. We're going to look at San Juan and Riga. That game scheduled to get underway at uh, 325 local time. So looks like we got about 10 minutes before this one uh, starts. Thanks to the the quick game from Ube and Manila that ended with just a shade under five minutes remaining in that game. So it's up to you. You can hang around and listen to me talk for a couple of more minutes or or you can go get yourself something to uh, snack on, maybe a nice beverage. Alcoholic only if you're over 21. I guess depending on where you live. <laughs> anyway, you are, as you look at this Riga team, obviously a lot different than uh, what you're accustomed to seeing when you see Riga. No more Batman, no more Robin. They're superheroes have taken their talents elsewhere, but they still have a couple of Olympic gold medalists in Agnes Chavez and Edgar Krumens. They got a former MVP in Miroslav Paisilic. So they're not, they're not playing with, uh, with pennies here. The cupboard is not empty with this team. But... Uh, there are more questions than answers with Riga at this point. 
They've been a perennial power all the way up until this year. We'll see what they do. We saw, we saw them in Shenzhen a week ago, and they got bounced out of pool play. One of the, one of the losses to their former teammates in Miesis and Las Manas. So, again, they will uh, they'll get warmed up for another near 10 minutes before we get to game time. And we'll get you reacquainted with both teams come that time. In the meantime, take a short break. More 3x3 action on the way from here in Manila.
All right, all right, all right. It's that time to get back to it, ladies and gents. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice of 3X3, back with you as we get back to ball inside the Ayala Mall, Glorietta Activity Center. Game number two as we get into Pool B play. We got Riga, and we have San Juan. Riga, who won nine Masters in their esteemed history. They're starting a, a new era, so to speak. San Juan, who have two Masters wins under their belt. They got it done in Lausanne in 2021. And they'll be looking to uh, to get another one here, although the competition is stiff. We're going to look at Riga here first with their two Olympians, Edgar Krumens and Agnes Chavars. Chavars is out first with Zingru Wu. Edgar Krumens, his fellow Olympic gold medal teammate, there as well with former Europe Cup MVP and Deberson Masters MVP, Miroslav Pajshilich, a.k.a. Red Dot. He's always shooting. As for San Juan, Coach Oscar Horitener, he made some changes to this year's squad. They are young and hungry, all under 26 years old. So Oscar and, and company have done a great job kind of retooling this San Juan team and try to recapture some of the success of the past. And I think they, they may have a chance to do just that. They got a certified bucket in Antonio Rallat, Adrian Ocasio, Leandro Elinde, and Luis Quascut. That is San Juan in the red representing. They've shown some good early signs in 2023. They played in their first international quest in France this spring, finished second. They beat teams like Dusseldorf and Spain. And, of course, they won the Lausanne Super Quest as a 12 seed. 12 seed. And that's how they earned a ticket here. So Glenn Cornelio and Alex Talisainen representing the Philippines and Estonia, respectively. They will officiate this one. And again, they'll get it warmed up. Marislav Pajshilich, the former Oob, former Lehman. <laughs> He's just been, been passed around to all the top teams. The journeyman, has he found a home with Riga? He can fill it up like the tanks on there. He's a scorer. Sometimes the shot selection isn't always there. He did lead them in scoring in Shenzhen a week ago, averaged five and a half a game, but again, Riga got bounced uh, in group play. Luis Cuascat, keep an eye on him. San Juan, a lot of things to be excited about. Ocasio and Ralat. They were unstoppable en route to that Lausanne Super Quest as those two combined for 67 points to win it all. And that's why they're here right, here right now. Here we go. Pool B, game one. Riga San Juan, let's get to it. Ocasio has it on the block. He's got Rylot on the baseline. The two is going to go up, and it's going to go down. Banga. Krumen's trying to answer back with the two-piece. But he ain't shooting like Luis. Not so far. So after the Luis two-piece, San Juan enjoying an early two-zip advantage. By Shilich on the go. Got past Ralat, and he's going to earn a trip to the stripe. Shooting one. By Shilich again, average 5.5 in those two losses. And Shenzhen knocked down three twos, and he knocks down the free throw. Riga on the board, 2-1. Ocasio, Malacas. That man's strong. Yeah. 
Four shot by Crew. Rebound to San Juan. Again, yeah, big O. Oh. Stepped on the line, but that step back was vicious. Right lot. He's a certified bucket. They waste that possession, though. Travel call. They'll turn it back over to the Boricuas. Oh, faded, faded, faded. Nice little knock knockdown and a soft touch from Leandro Allende. Now it's Luis. He will hand it off. Pull up. Tough defense right there. Great contest there from Wu. And he'll, he'll send Ocasio to the bench to get a breather. And San Juan lead it early. 3-1. Shout out to all the people watching from Puerto Rico. We'll have a San Juan challenger coming this way in, 2000, in uh, September here in 2023. Looking forward to that. We'll see if it'll be at the T-Mobile District. He shot that one outside of his district. Didn't matter. Antonio Ralat saying, voila. Look what he pulled out his bag from the deep end. Two-piece combo from Chooks to go. As he'll go up to the line. Shout out to my guy, Roly, Rolando, my broadcast partner when I was out there in San Juan, if he's watching. So seven, seven to two, San Juan. Now in years past, this would be a shocking start. You hear the name Riga and it usually means success as the second most winning 3x3 franchise. But things are different in 2023. Now they got Miroslav Paisilich passing to some dude named Singri Wu. <laughs> that foul called on MP. I'm going to call him Streaky P. By Shiloh is just one of those dudes, when he gets on a hot streak, you can say good night. He's that explosive offensively, but sometimes the shot selection uh, is less than desirable. How about that? Four-point lead for San Juan, as we're just over two minutes in to our second game of day one from here in Manila. Oh. Crewman's the warrior splashes one to get his team within two. That's one thing Crewman's can do. And again, as much as Riga has changed, this is still a competitive team. Again, they even though they were bounced in pool play, they only lost to Beijing, who ended up winning the whole thing. They only lost to him by two points. They can stay in games. As a matter of fact, <laughs> they were up five points against Beijing and ended up losing that game. I believe they were up 19 to 14, and somehow that game slipped uh, between their grasp. There's Chavares. He's got a delivery, and all of a sudden, Riga are within one. Crewman's pick his pocket and then draws the foul. It's a win-win situation. They win the possession, and they'll tack on another foul for San Juan, who now have five, which means they got one more to give. 
San Juan had jumped all over Riga in the early goings. It was 7-3, a 3-0 run by the Latvians as Wu takes another pass from Paisilic. It's deadlocked. Ralat couldn't drop it from two range. Ocasio runs into traffic, the jump hook. He will get the friendly bounce and put the Puerto Ricans up by one. San Juan, eight, Riga, seven. As we head into our first TV timeout, it's become a competitive contest. It wasn't always this way. It was looking like a one-sided affair with San Juan jumping on Riga out of the gates. But once the Latvians were able to settle in, they tied the game at seven apiece, only to see San Juan jump back out in front by one. But this is going to be anybody's game the rest of the way. We'll see if San Juan can regain their composure. Again, after that hot start, here we go. Ralat with the rock. He'll get it down to Ocasio. Ocasio to Ralat. He drops it like it's hot on the baseline. Sure shot from Mr. Buckets. He wants a nickname already. You got to play a little bit more. Ralat. It's coming. I know they call you Mr. Buckets. Keep getting buckets, and it'll stick. 9-7. <laughs> and offensive foul call. See, I actually like the nickname Lotto better because he's money. Get it? Lotto. Chit okay, never mind. 9 7. We'll leave the nicknames up to Julian DeBuff. Ocasio swinging through. Uh, two to the head. Then he did the mellow to him. Ocasio trying to clear Chavars uh, away. He gets called for the foul. Ocasio, he's hyped up. That two-piece got him excited. That's the seventh foul, though, on San Juan. As they, uh, they lead it back by four again. So Ocasio has helped ignite the team. Chavar is not helping Riga's cause any by missing the first of two free throws. Chavar's second one is swished. Ocasio will clear it. Ralat, he's a certified bucket. He will give it up. They're going to let Ocasio go to work. Ocasio, he's a bull down there. Ocasio, I'm going to call him Toro. That's not a bad nickname. He's a bull down there. Ocasio trying to clear some space. Not happening that time. So there was a foul there. Looks like it and one. As Paisilich goes to another gear. And he's able to draw the contact. Streaky P with two points in this game. And he's going to get the free throw to go. Got a chance to tie things up here. We got over five minutes to play in this one. And San Juan, although they've been able to jump out to a couple of four-point leads, and they lead it here by one, they got 18 fouls. Uh, so that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Oh, Lotto, cha-ching. 
Money, 10, 13. Uh-uh, he blocked him like spam. But then Javars is able to clear the way and get the bucket. Two-point game. Rylott trying to get another bucket. That one tipped. Turn around fader. All oxygen. It'll stay where it's at as Riga will start this downhill attack with Paisalic. Offensive foul. I, I guess Krumens was moving on a screen. So Riga will pick up a six. They've got one to give. Got a whistle and a seventh foul on Riga. Upcoming free throws. Neither team has played so sharply on the defensive end. Luis Kualskat. Kualskat. He's going to miss the first of two. And he's able to split a pair as San Juan will lead it by three. Just over four minutes to play. A quick whistle. Travel. So Riga right now are busy shooting themselves in their own foot. Seen several turnovers from them. As Pashal has got whistle for the walk. So they're going to have to get out of their own way and try to stay in Rylot's way. They did enough there to prevent the shot made. Now Rylot, he's in trouble. Krumens. 14-12. Rylot, he's got the green line. Didn't have the green release. They got to work on his 2K skills. Block underneath. Krumens is saying that went off red. Wait a minute. What's his argument? I don't, I don't know if it went off red. I'm not sure what the argument is. Wait a minute. TV timeout time. I do, there's no argument with that. I don't think the players would. They're going to suck some air. And regroup, recharge, heading to the, to the last three minutes and 50 seconds of our second contest of the day. Pool B going down here inside the Glorieta Activity Center in Manila. Nearly 8 million pesos at stake. That's 122,000 USD, by the way. 12 teams, 10 countries. As we bring you this FIBA 3X3 Manila Masters brought to you by our global partners, Chooks to Go. Oh, nice sharing. Oh, Casio doesn't get it to go down. That loose Wilson lands in Crewman's hands. Crewman's working from the right wing. Him and his fellow Olympian. He's left alone. Crew for two. Count that. 14 14. The bump, no bucket. Krumens now on the drive. That was an awkward looking layup, but they ain't got to be pretty to count. Riga take their first lead of the game with 3.10 to go. They were down 7-3. And they were also down 11-7. Uh, Both teams with eight fouls as Ocasio. El Toro will step up to the line. Second free throw is a miss, but is there, I think a lane violation. I do believe a lane violation was called on Riga. I think Chavar stepped in there a little bit too soon. So Casio will get another chance. And he makes good on that. P 
by Shilich. Drives right, high layup attempt. Great defense to contest it. Uh, and a smart play by Chavares. Yep, yep. He got uh, Kuaskut off the ground and, and drew the contact on the way up. He's going to get two free throws. He was going to shoot two anyway because they're in the penalty, but it stops the clock. Gives Riga a breather and a chance to take the lead here from the stripe as Chavar splashes the first of two. Second of two, money. Ralat, oh. Misses the reverse layup. He was a little bit too fast. By Shilich, he will whip it down. Chavars, who tracks it down. That loose ball is kicked. Who got a foot on it? I know Puerto Ricans are excellent at football, but they cannot confuse the sports. Krumen's risky pass, and it is taken away. Now Rotlot, he's licking his chops. He will swing it to Ocasio. Not that time. Rebound underneath. Contact in the bucket. He is fuerte. Leandro Allende. He'll get a potential and two opportunity in what could be a three-point play if he's able to connect at the free throw line. 17-17 game. We got a thriller in Manila. Nine fouls apiece and 17 points apiece. Two free throws upcoming for Allende. Ay, ay, ay. No bueno. Second try. Oh. No bueno. Missed them both. And then they got to watch that dissection. As Chavars hit him with the cut. They go up by one. Oh. I like with the nice step back, but he didn't, he didn't hit it. So it was a play almost worth talking about. Timeout on the floor. Riga, they want to talk it over with a one-point advantage. This is one of those games for San Juan, who have had some signature wins again here in 2023. They've shown some flashes. They beat teams like Dusseldorf in Spain, Lausanne in their own backyard. But can they do it now? Here's how the, here's how the game has progressed since that 16 to 15 mark. Riga have outscored them three to one. And for now, in front by one in this sprint to 21. We'll see what San Juan can do with it here. Rilat, he's running the baseline. Step back. Oh, dos es bueno. Big two from Allende. San Juan now leading. Chavez, no. High rebound to Ocasio. Ocasio, he chucks the deuces. By Shilich, ISO game. Red dot. He's going to miss his mark that time. Out of bounds, it will go and back over to San Juan. Will they look to end it with a two? Maybe the better play would be to, to drive and maybe draw contact. After all, they will be shooting free throws. And a 10th foul for either team would mean two free throws and possession. I'm just trying to forecast a little bit and think, think strategy if I was playing the game. If I'm San Juan against this Riga team that's been, that hasn't gone anywhere, they managed to keep fighting back, you don't want to leave that door open. I'm only taking a two if I get a clean look. Otherwise, I'm going to try to get to the rim, create an opportunity. 
for either an easy score or a foul opportunity and potentially in the game at the strike. But this isn't like an overtime period to where it has to, you have to win it with a two right now. We'll see how they handle it. Rylot waiting for some help to come around. Rylot all by himself. That is what you call taking what the defense gives you. He had a clear lane, no stop lights, no stop signs, and no popo. Now Crumans gets the same, so they trade one for one. San Juan could win it with a bucket here. Ocasio, oh, he missed it bad. That was broke, broke. Crumans, oh. High rebound to Ocasio. We're under a minute to go. Don't have to force a two here. Ocasio with the move on Cummins. Ocasio takes the bump. Ocasio off the window. No. By Shilich now. ISO game left wing. Next bucket. will tie it up. As Red Dot says adios. Game point. Rylan. Why not? Ball game with a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. <laughs> Antonio Rylot. They hit the lot. Oh. Rylot with a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. The step back created space in the relationship. And I don't think he just made no new friends. <laughs> He's on Riga's hit list. Big, big shot, game winner for Antonio Ralat. What a game, 22 to 20 is how that one ends. San Juan was in control for most of the game and, met, and just could not shake Riga. The Latvians kept fighting back, kept tying the game. Both teams in all sorts of foul trouble. Antonio Ralat living up to his name, Mr. Buckets. He got a big one there to end it. A big one. Two-piece step back. Ocasio was hooping too. By Shilas doing what he could. But in the end, nice fight from Riga, but just not enough. San Juan would not be denied there. They're trying to do some dragon slaying out here in Manila. As they are one of the, the underdogs. But they handle that underdog moniker pretty well. Again, winning it all at the Lausanne Super Quest is a 12 seed. They ain't scared. They ain't scared. All right. We'll get our first pool C action here momentarily as Amsterdam High Pro and uh, Sukuba Alborada, they will take the court. They'll get to action at about 4 o'clock local time. So they're about 10 minutes away from check ball. So if you want to take a brief, a brief break, you may do so. But don't be going long. Next action, pool C, Amsterdam High Pro. Sukuba Alborada on deck, 4 o'clock. That's 10 minutes away.
Y'all heard no Lazarus. If y'all still here with us, make some no. Okay. We can't hear y'all from at home, but I hope some of y'all screamed in your uh, living room or wherever you may be. Maybe not at work, but everywhere else. It's a family affair. Get involved. Get active. We back at you from the Gloriette Activity Center. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice of 3X3. I'm in your ear. Have no fear. It's going down. We're just scratching the surface of a busy, busy first day of pool play action. We've made our way to Group C as Amsterdam High Pro and Tsukuba Alborada will uh, take center stage here underneath the lights as this Manila Masters will continue. Our first two winners of the day. We saw a thriller just in the end with San Juan beating Riga with a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. And, and a 22 to 20 finish. Prior to that, it was a runaway win for Oob, We Shine, and E over Manila Chooks as they won that game 21 to 9. Now the favorite Amsterdam High Pro team will lace them up against a new add to the world tour this year, Sukuba Alborada. And don't ask me what to expect from Sukuba Alborada. I couldn't even tell you. Never seen him before. Neither have you. At least I don't think you have. Going to be a nice clash in Pool C today with Amsterdam High Pro and Fushian meeting. There's some plots and subplots in that one that we will get to when they when they do play. But first, we got to see how Amsterdam High Pro holds up against Sukuba Alborada. All right, first out is Norbert Thelison. Saw him on the world tour a couple of times last year, but that was it. Got to look at him and Shenzhen as well. I like the early returns on, on Thelison. I think he's got a high ceiling. Jan Driesen, the big rim protector. Of course, Slaughterhouse, Arvin Slochter, one of the most pinpoint shooters in the game and highlight worthy, worthy de Jong. A rising star, 3x3. He took his talents north from Utrecht to Amsterdam and a team to switch this offseason. So the new look Dutch, looking pretty good. Again, I saw them in Shenzhen a week ago. They beat Fuxian in the quarterfinals before falling to Beijing in the semis. More on that later, but let's give our respects, of course, to the new addition team. That, uh, that I mentioned in Sukuba Alborada. And here they are. Hirotaka, Fujisawa, Rion, Yahatabara, Rayutaro, Otomo, and Tom Fujihara. They qualified here via the uh, 3x3 Japanese Championships. That's a quest where they finished eighth. And that was enough to get them a slot here to hoop it up in Manila. We will see exactly what they are made of against a, a proven franchise, I should say, but maybe not a proven team. Amsterdam is almost all new this year. Arvin Slochter returns, but he's it. No more DeMeo Vanderhorst. We don't see Julian Jarring. We do see Worthy Dion. Sometimes I call him Showtime, but I think I'm going to call him Highlight Worthy because that's all you see with this dude. Him Worthy. Coming off a 40-point display in Shenzhen just a week ago. I told you he was balling. He averaged 10 points per game. Finished third on the scoring charts. Topped the charts and highlights. Made all of his free throws. He's got a unique bag, this worthy Dion. And he's flanked by 
pro a proven shooter and slogter. And the new ad, again, Norbert Thelison, I think is somebody to keep an eye on. And Amsterdam High Pro have always been a fringe power just outside the regulars like Oob, Lehman, Riga. You know, Amsterdam made the semifinals in five of the six regular season tournaments last year. They fell short each time, though. And the question is, can the new collection of, uh, of Dutch Hoopers bring better results? They were a stingy defensive team a year ago, gave up just 16 points per game, third best in the league. If they can carry the defense over, then I think that's going to be a good starting point for them. Let's get this one started, shall we? Here we go. The voice in your ear as we get it going. Pool C, game one, Amsterdam against Sukuba. Worthy. With the right to left cross, he's going down to the body shop. You're going to get these dents. Puts the hook up and then down. Worthy, who took a, a real shot to his grill, going up against uh, Alexander Ratkov in an overtime game against Sansar. Lost a tooth. I haven't seen him smile yet, so I don't know if he's replaced that tooth. Mean that while well, there's two to the mouth, Arvin Slochter, who shot at 40% from two range last year. And the defense was enough. De Jong, a smart play right there. Quickly kicked it out and then set up shop in the post and got the score. Oh, nice fake. Not so nice on the layup as Jan Driesen stretches out, snags the rebound. That pass off the mark. Worthy will clear it. Worthy will swing it over. Drizzen, no. So four zip right out of the gates for Amsterdam. Nope. Worthy still out there looking like a pirate. I thought he might have fixed that too for sis. <laughs> but not yet. Oh, my goodness. He threw it back like a Penny Hardaway jersey. <laughs> Look at Worthy Dion. He, he deletes this shot like it was a duplicate. Take it again. Highlight Worthy, I told you. Offensively and defensively. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that nickname. Highlight worthy. Or we can stick with Showtime. Or how about skills worthy? Oh, skills worthy. Anyway, we'll work on that another time. Thillison, he gets the bucket. It's five zip Amster. Damn. Sukuba on the move. Oh my goodness. 5-1. 6 1 out of the gates. Almost two minutes in. Amsterdam has been all on them. Oh, look at the quickness. Got to finish that, though. Okay. We learning as we go, but I'm seeing the Fujihara. This dude is fast. There's Worthy with the lay. Oh, off-balance layup. Worthy, stroke wasn't stroking that time. But a 7-1 start for Amsterdam. Sukuba, they got some quickness on their side. But they got to start converting that quickness to points. Number 
Offensive foul. They'll give it over to Amsterdam High Pro. No Maxime Kovacevic. No Demel Vanderhorst for the new look Dutch. There's Sergeant Slachter. Oh, oh, Slachter, he was surprised that he was so wide open and missed the crib initially, but was able to recover. That one air mailed, tracked down. Otomo couldn't hold on to it. They damaging some equipment, expensive stuff over there. You have to take that out, take that out of his paycheck. We get a break in the action. So far, not a shock. Amsterdam High Pro, the favorite in this matchup. Things have, uh, have worked out for them to this point. They enjoy a sizable seven-point advantage as we are just past three minutes into this game. Once again, this FIBA 3X3 Manila Masters brought to you in part by our global partners, Chooks to Go. Our official timekeeper, Maurice Lacroix, and our ball and apparel sponsor, Wilson. Two ball, corner. Oh. Ricochets off the iron. That was a good contest. Still is in. And De Jong. Showtime waiting on the rock. Worthy will give it up to Slachter. That one deflected. Looks like it's going to be Amsterdam ball with 3.6 ticks to go. Dillison to the crib. Like Dillison's size, his ability to get to the rim. He's proven to be a pretty good shooter, too. Yeah, I think he's going to get, the more he plays, the better he's going to get. As will this team. They'll, they'll begin to jail as the season goes on. This is their world tour debut. As we didn't see Slachter in Utanamia. So Amsterdam High Pro was one of the 12 teams that played in Utanamia, the World Tour opener, at the end of last month. Dillison, he wants to rock. Dillison gets his footing underneath, and he will get the hook to go. It is 10 to 1. Oh, two-piece. Count that. Good shot from Fujisawa. Dreesen with the score. Makes it eight to three. This one, so far, as we approach nearly five minutes, this one's out of hand like a kid that needs a spanking. Amsterdam doing all the spanking right now. Can they hold them off? Wide open, too. Rolls off the iron. And I think Dreesen is called for the foul. He says, my bad. Uh. Uh. DJ Last got a beat plan and make make you want to just flow. I know. Whoa. 
Highlight worthy. On an island, he's directing traffic. He says, get out of here. He puts the two up, tracks it down. Dillison. He can't hit after the turnaround. Worthy, though. He's a bandit. Gets it back. Oh, good look. That's some nice action here from Amsterdam. Just perpetual movement. Oh, what a layup. Quick move. I, Tom Fujihara. Thirteen to four, though. Another two was let go. Nine point lead. Ooh, worthy. Worthy to the corner. Drissen. Bump in the bucket. And count that at the line. Amsterdam running away with it. 11 point lead here. Fujihara with a dime. And the score over Worthy. Still a 10 point difference. Amsterdam ain't worried too much, especially with Sergeant Slachter still going to work. Drissen, wait, offensive foul call. Fifth on Amsterdam as we get to our second and final TV timeout. The game separated by 10 points. 3.35 exactly left, and it has been all Amsterdam. Giving it, giving it to the new entry, Sukuba. So, this is how Amsterdam's run has looked. It was 14 to four at one point. They've only scored two points since then, but the problem has Sukuba has only scored one. It was a 10 point game then, it's a 10 point game now. This game is uglier than Flavor Flav. <laughs> A lot of y'all don't even know who Flavor Flav is. Yeah, boy. Never mind. Uh, back to the action. I'm not sure Tsukuba is going to be able to uh, make this a game with 325 to go. Oh. Worthy just got big boyed right there. Worthy sets the screen. He seals the defender on the inside, and he's able to draw the foul. Worthy, who in Utsunomiya, we saw average nine points per game out there in the, in the opener. He and his squad will reset. Drissen. Dillison wanted it. He won't get it. Drifts into the cup, and he smashes one. He's so polite when he dunks. Good contest. No make on the layup attempt. Sergeant Slachter will get it down to Dillison. Dillison will get another try. He's running into some traffic. He manages to clear away and get the score. Biggest lead of the game for Amsterdam. 11 points right now as Thillison will snag the rebound. Slockter wants the ball back. Slockter will give it up. He says, see, this is how you do it. Let me show you the way. 
Sir, yes, sir. 19 to 7. Pull up. Off balance and way off the mark. And a foul underneath. Phillison will draw a fifth on Sukuba. But there's Slochter setting up Dreesen. And Dreesen finishes with a nice smash, uncontested. Timeout on the floor, and all Amsterdam need are two points to put this one to bed. But this game has uh, not ever been in question. It has been all Dutch all the time from the outset. They jumped out to a 7-1 to lead. That lead then quickly swelled to double digits. It was 14 to four before you knew it. Then 16 to six. And now we sit with a 12 point advantage, 19-7. Here comes Worthy on the baseline. Worthy down to the post office. He delivers his mail in style. Game point after them. Sukuba with a few final shots. Highlight worthy. Highlight. Pulls the trigger from Tulane, no. They listen with some pressure defense. Oh, and a whistle while shooting the two. Minute 39 left. This won't matter much, at least to, it, in the context of this game. This is going to be an Amsterdam win. Now, should it come down to a three-way tiebreaker in this group? Obviously, every point matters. You just never know what may happen. So, Sukuba with some pretty valuable attempts to get some buckets here. And he don't make it from the line. And this one could be ending right. No. Thillison with the rebound. Thillison, he wants the two-piece. Slochter will get it to Worthy. They're looking for a two ball. Again, in the event of that tiebreaker scenario, they got plenty of time. They know this game is in the bag. So instead of taking that one, they expect them to continue to chunk the deuces. So here we go. Eight. Eight, eight, eight. Both teams should be uh, shooting a bunch of twos. Sergeant Slaughter, sir, yes, sir. He'll teach you how to shoot. Twenty-two to eight. It never was close. Like brothers that can't get along. Twenty-two to eight. Amsterdam. So take a look at the highlights in this one. It uh it was it was not close. I'm not even gonna kid with you. Never. Not from the first 20 seconds. It was all Amsterdam all the time. Sukuba only able to manufacture eight points in this game. And the writing was on the wall from the outset. Amsterdam would not be denied. That sets up the Dutchman with a, should be an exciting matchup between them and Pushyan. Should be a fairly emotional contest. 
With the male Vanderhorst going up against his old team. That's for later. Of course, we'll also see Sukuba against Pushian as well. I think we'll see that one before that Amsterdam Pushian game. But that brings us through three of the pools. The only group we haven't seen yet is, is Pool D. And that's what's coming up right now. Sansar, MMC Energy, and al -Wakra. All right, let's get right to it then, shall we? We shall. Sansar MMC Energy with a nice looking team, an up and coming squad led by the Archer, Anal Arian Bolt. Here's Sansar MMC Energy. Representing Mongolia, Mungchudar, Nasanbat, Inkbayar, Chulanbatar, and Inkbatar, Anolbatar, along with, of course, Anan Aryan Bo. Now for Aluakra, who will make their world tour debut. Their four-man squad is keyed by Irfan Ali Saeed, the longtime 3x3 veteran with a new look this year. Mohamed Kandil, Mubarak Jama, and Brandon Spearman. So Irfan Ali Saeed, he was a member of that 2014 FIBA 3x3 gold medal world championship team as i mentioned he's been around the block a long time 3x3 vet and man still in great shape coming in here hooping at 39 years old slobo and prince Cecilia taught they will officiate this one right here. Game number four here in Manila, y'all. We're having some fun, enjoying some great 3x3 action as always. Seems to only get better as the day goes on. There's a non Aryan bowl. As I mentioned, he's a rising star. He was named World Tour Most Spectacular Player in 2022. He's been even better this year, helping lead Mongolia to a gold medal at the Asia Cup nearly two months ago. There's Mubarak Jama of al Rakwa. He's the young, youngest player here at, uh, at the Manila Masters at just 19 years old. Never too soon to start playing 3x3, or too late, apparently. We got a 19-year-old and a 39-year-old, both on the same team, 20 years separated. All right, we'll handle the final countdown, and then we will get to it. Another 10 minute sprint coming your way here inside the Glorietta Activity Center. All right, let's go. We're 10 minutes sprinting. Let's do it. Two pieces, no good. As Sansar MMC will start with it. Ali couldn't get there quick enough, so the layup will go.
Two ball corner. Nah, bruh. That's a miss. Ari and Bolt, no. They stick with it and make it a two-zip game. The Mongolians in front early, playing some tough defense here, making things different on al Wakra. Nice pass. Oh, for the miss underneath. Oh, Ari and Bolt, the archer. Bullseye, four zip. Aryan Bold has been a man possessed. He, the archer was loosing in Shenzhen last week. Nine points per game, 37% from the deep end. And that one touches nothing. As Red will take over. Sidestep, two attempt, nah. Shorty, no. So Al Wakra got some rust. Could find themselves having a tough time against Sansar MMC Energy. Sansar MMC Energy is no longer. The type of team that can be pushed around. Yep, the archer is going to miss it that time. Arian Bull. Arian Bull with the hezzy. Up fake. Turn around. Take. No, missed it. Pull up. No. Looked like it might have been good for a second. I was wrong. Meantime, there we go. Now Alawakra is finally on the board with a 4-1 contest. Irfan Ali Saeed drops it off. Step through. Shot goes begging. Alawakra still working through some things offensively here. That one recovered and scored on the inside. Nazanbat. There's the 19 year old. Still got plenty of time to perfect that hook shot. Stays a four point difference. I like the idea on that pass. Mohamed Kantil couldn't quite sneak it through, but it was, his head was in the right place. Round the corner, comes Condil. He'll drop it off to Ali Saeed. No. Here comes Aryan Bow. That has it snuffed away. A fake. Nice drive, patient defense though. So Aryan Bow will clear it. Aryan Bow waits for the screen. Aryan Bow. He'll redirect the offensive attack. The Archer. That time it's a miss. Anolbatar. He's going to snag the rebound. He draws the foul on the floor. Not a shooting foul. But the fifth on Al Wakra, nonetheless. They got one more to give as we give everybody a break here and take a TV timeout. 645 left. I glitched there for a second. Yeah, you you heard that right. 645 left. <laughs> Quick break. As it's time to get back to the action. Sansar MMC Energy. Who were semi finalists at the Utanamiya opener. Floaty. Arian Bow makes it 6 1. But a surprise run for them, an impressive one 
at the Utsunomiya opener featuring the best teams in the world. And Sansar MMC Energy finished fourth. There's Aryan Bold with the arrow and bow. See, it kind of rhymes. Aryan Bold, arrow and bow. He's the archer for a reason. 8-1. Here's a Nobatar. Nobatar getting physical on the block. He's pushing the back and will be Al Wakra's 16 foul. And right now they are getting big boyed by the Mongolians. Oh, come on now. You got to get a hand up on the archer. Nice drive and move. Alrakwa is struggling on both ends, really. They're fouling like heck defensively as they pick up their seventh and are in the penalty. And offensively, they couldn't throw it in the ocean right now. Only one point to their name. As the score looks like it's going to continue to swell. Nassan Bat. He puts the cookie in the cup. Misses the second. Saeed with the board, sets the screen. Saeed wants it back. He'll hand it off. That's a good look all day long, but these goals ain't loyal. Aryan Bow. Oh, probably should have shot it. There's no doubt that an Aryan Bow has got the green light on this team. He is their leader. Eight-point lead, Sansar MMC Energy. Last year, Aryan Bowl was with Zav Khan MMC Energy. So he's one of several players who made moves this offseason. Actually, it was a coming out party for, uh, for the Archer last year here in Manila as he sets up the feed to a Nolbatar. Had a big, big tournament in Manila. Finished third on the scoring charts in 2022. Did Aryan Bow. That one recovered and scored. No problemo. Nassan Bot. It's a double digit advantage right now for the Mongolians. Beautiful feed. And how about Nassan Bot? He's been a good secondary option. For Sansar MMC Energy in this one, the pull up from Spearman, it's a no. Oh, threading the needle was the archer to a Nobatar. Good contest. That rebound will land with Al Wakra, and the midi is a missy. 12 point game. Oh, he's toying with him like a McDonald's kids' meal. <laughs> it's 14 to 1. Aryan Bow, that time, back iron, no. Oh, give me them. Stolen. The package is delivered underneath as Aryan Bow will make it 16 to 1. Finally, a two goes down. Spearman. Aryan Bolt, he likes to share. He's a good kid, 17-3. Speaking of kids, the 19-year-old, Mubarak Jama, he was able to draw the foul on the drive as we go into our last TV timeout, but a 17-3 runaway.
So the Mongolians are ruling like Genghis Khan in this one. 17-3. As Al Wakwa look lifeless. So the Mongolians pick up a third foul, but they got as many fouls as Al Wakra have points. Well, until then, another two piece from Spearman gives them five, a handful of points as the Archer just misses it. They'll reset Sansar MMC Energy. This time, the two is attempted but missed by Chulun Batar. Alwakra, they stroke has been broke. With 2.30 to play, the Archer, you leave him open, and it's normally going to go down, although he misses that one. It's recovered and scored. Only three points to go for Sansar MMC Energy. Spearman letting it fly. He knuckles balls that one in. That's his third two ball of the game. So here's Spearman. He's on a roll like butter. But that one rolls off. 18-7, it will stay. Two minutes to go. Aryan Ball, why you cross him like that? Back iron. A little strong for Aryan Ball. Just take a little bit off that shot, and those are going to be falling straight through the nets. Saeed. Ali got his lunch packed, but he also got hacked. In the process, foul. That one called on a note, Batar. He'll shoot one. So here's I here's Irfan Ali Saeed. Couldn't connect on the free throw, but I do. Did that go off of uh, the archer? There was a cameraman in front of me. I couldn't see it. Strong drive, but a missed shot. Ten footers missed, and Saeed, he's, he's fouled. Nobatar grabbing onto his shoulder. Now, Wakra again in the penalty with seven fouls. Minute 20 and counting as they trail it, 18 to 7. I, I wouldn't expect a, a comeback in this one. But Sansar MMC Energy has got to put them away. That's not a bad way to get it done as Nobatar muscles that one up and in. 12-point lead, and just over one minute to go. Whoa. The archer with too much arch on that. Final 58 ticks. As once this one is done, we'll have seen every group play. Nineteen seven, the Archer. No, oh, it's another misfire. Now the archer he decides to give it up. And that's your ball game, ladies and gents. 21-7, Sansar MMC Energy 
no problems against Al Wakra. As they make easy work and route to a 21 7 dub. That will almost, almost certainly lock down uh, Santar MMC Energy's spot in the quarterfinals, almost certainly. Barring a big upset of Al Wakra over Beijing with Las Manas and Miesis. Uh, I can't really see that happening. But we'll see. That game will be played uh, a bit later. But a 14-point victory for Santar MMC Energy. The Archer was the catalyst. They got some additional help from Nassan Bat, as well as Anoa Batar on the inside. And it ain't a whole lot to talk about with this one. Mongolian domination and a 14-point win. We'll step aside and take a brief break. We will get back to the action at uh, 4.56. So about 15 minutes from now, we'll get back to the action and head back to Pool A with U Puishan in E and Utanamiya Brex taking the floor just before 5 o'clock local time. So we got about 15 minutes before we get back to it. We'll take a quick breather and see you in 15 from here in Manila.
It's about that time to get back to it. Here we go. Oob, can they continue their unbeaten win streak as they started off 1-0 today with a 21-9 victory over local favorites Manila Chooks. They're led by the living legend himself and the all-time leading scorer in FIBA 3X3, Dejan Majstorovic. World number one, Strahinja Stojacic. Marko Brankovic. And the young gun on their squad, Yushan Liu. Now our first look at Utsunomiya Brex. A team not to be slept on. This game could be competitive. They're eighth in the world tour standings. There's Marko Milakovic. Yosuke Saito. I call him Super Saiyan. I think you can see why. And Teodor Adana showed their big man in the middle, big nimble, along with Ryoma Saito. They finished eighth at the Utsunomiya opener to start the season. Also saw them play last weekend in Shenzhen, a 10th place finish for them. But uh, as I mentioned, there are some things to like about this Utsunomiya Brex team who won the Ulubatar SuperQuest uh, earlier this spring. So they have managed to find some success. Cecilia Tot and Glenn Cornelio. They will officiate this one right here, right now. What's good, good people? Y'all having fun? Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice, is in your ear. That's Strahinja Stojicic. He finished in top player value in Utsunomiya, scoring and highlights and key assists. Not too much different from his World Tour 2022 campaign where he led in total points and player value. And he looks locked and loaded. Nice mustache, Shahinya. There's Yasuke Super Saiyan Saito, the 37-year-old. He can still get to it. He's going to need a big game, though, a big one against, against Oob. I mean, let's just keep it real. This is Oob. They are building uh, a dynasty. And I use that word lightly because you don't see very many dynasties emerge. But ever since Novi's side, we, we haven't seen a dynasty yet. And there have been teams like Lehman. There have been teams like Riga who have uh, won their share of masters. But nobody quite like the Serbian, Serbians. And the common denominator has been Dejan Majstorovic. But... We'll see what Utsunomiya Brex, again, who won the Ulamatar Super Quest last month to qualify here to Manila. They made it out of the qualifying draw in Shenzhen, but did not qualify for day two after losing to both Mongolian squads, Sansar and Ulamatar. Can they top the top dogs? It's on now. We'll see in the next 10 minutes. Oh, there's Saito sneaking behind Dr. Strange. And gets the opening score for Utsunomiya. So keep an eye on Milakovic for Utsunomiya in this one. Marco earned MVP at that Ulaanbaatar Super Quest. He was unstoppable with 41 points. He'll swing it over to Super Saiyan Saito. Saito's pass is broken up. But before it was broken up, it's a three-second violation. Not a ton of show. Uh, Tanishov, excuse me, is telling him to shoot. Tanishov looked pretty good in Utsunomiya as well. More on him later. Right now he's got a D up on the beast. Bronkela gets it over to the maestro. Just off target from the man that made the most twos of any player in 2022. Maestro tracking Milakovic, and that foul is called on Bronkovic. <laughs> He's debating. You can't challenge a foul call, sir. You know the rules by now. Brockovich has finally found a home. He, he was a journeyman for a while. Used to hoop with Lehman. And uh, actually didn't make the roster with their team, surprisingly. This was several years ago. And now we see how valuable he is with Team Oob. They are pick your poison team. Brockovich trying to defend. Now it's Strahinja. 
defending Milakovic. Milakovic with a nice move, a ton of show. Can save it, but to the wrong team. Oh, that's a mismatch. Strange in the lane. That foul's on the floor before the shot. Strange to the right. Strange stops short as he gets it over to the Maestro who gives it back. Back to the Maestro. Maestro's pass is deflected. Good defense from Utanibia Brex. Down to Atanashov. Show. Atana Show with positioning. He draws the foul on the floor. That's number three on Oob. And looking a little bit different than their opening game as they beat Manila 21-9. They've yet to score here, just over a minute of play in their second and final pool play game. Top two from each group advance, in case you didn't know. That's the rules of the game. $40,000 grand prize, one hundred and twenty-two dollars altogether. That will be awarded to teams that finish one through six. So well, well over a million dollars will be paid out in this 3x3 2023 season. There's Saito, Saito. He wanted some space in the relationship and he's got a banking account here in the Philippines. Atanasho will clear it. Saito, Saito in Super Saiyan mode. He's taking it to the next level, 5-0 Utsunomiya. Mamma mia. Wait a minute. Take another look at Super Saiyan Saito. His hair is about to turn a different color. Once he powers up, Saito will let Milakovic go to work. Milakovic trying to score over fellow Serbian Majstorovic. Not happening. There's a whistle off ball that's down low. And number three on Utsunomiya. Oob with four point, four fouls, no points. Here's Strange. Stoichis kicks it to the beast. The beast, uh-uh. And they run out of time. So a shot clock violation. Majstorovic is arguing that they should have had more time. He's not going to win that argument. And a warning. Saito getting in the lane. He'll kick it. Milakovic driving past Majstorovic. Strong layup. It's six zip. And a wild shot from Strange. Strange in the lane with the lay. So to the, uh, for Oob, rather, Dugan on the board. They trail it by five early, 6-1. Strange, the world number one, making his move. He's fouled. As that will be, oh, no, he's not fouled. That's an offensive foul. And number five on Oob, one more to give. We haven't even reached the first TV timeout yet. That'll be coming up the first dead ball after seven minutes. So Oob will have uh, some time to think things over and correct the course right now because Utenemiya Brex is on them. They are at their neck like a bow tie. And Saito, he misses the mark that time. 7-1 game, though. And Milakovic, he's got Saito on the cut. Saito with the lay. 8-1 contest right now. What is happening with Oob? As that foul will stop the clock and send us to that first TV timeout. The fourth team foul on Utsunomiya Brex. But what a start. What a start for this Japanese-Serbian mix of Utsunomiya who are taking it at the top dogs, the number one ranked Oob right now. They got to find a way to erase a seven point deficit. Here's how things have gone so far. You don't see Oob 
uh, contained in this way very often. But they'll get into their system now. Now they're going to stop playing games. I'm going to make a prediction. If I know anything about Oob, they are about to tighten this, tighten things up. They're going to tighten up the loose screws. There may be some loose screws on the rim after that smash from Strange. 8-2. It's going to start on the defensive end for Oob. Oh, Saito. He just misses the mark on that floaty attempt. Strahinia gets it to the beast. Brankela. Oh, no. These girls ain't loyal. Milakovic defended well. Oh, but a big two. A big deuce. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. It's 10 to 2. Strange travels. So that that last two ball from Rioma Saito, get a look at it. Two piece, no biscuit. What is happening right now? In a 10-2 game, Milakovic up fake. Atanashov will take it, but wait a second. Atanashov got caught in the paint too long. Three seconds. They'll give it back over to Oob. Plenty of time left. Even with Utsunomiya Brexis, hot start. You don't want to let him shoot. Oh, there's Brankovic. He didn't forget the tip. The waiters like him. Oh, Saito. Aito. Atanashov is fouled on the way up. He'll shoot one. That is six on Oob. And the frustration's showing. They got to be careful. They've already been warned for arguing with the officials. So they don't want to pick up a technical foul, even though the game has been a little bit more frustrating than Oob has been used to. Your defending World Tour final winners from 2022. Got their backs against the wall a bit here. An 11 to 3 deficit. Give it to the world number one. Strange. Pass is broken up. Saito can't get the steal. The layup is missed. Strange can't get the tip. Over to Saito. So oh, he missed it. Strange. Passed up the two. Instead, he'll get in the lane. He draws plenty of contact there. He will shoot one. So Strahinia Stojicic, again, coming off an MVP performance in Utsunomiya. That was the last time we saw this OOP team. Certainly got to take advantage of every opportunity here as we are near the midway point, and they trail it by eight. Strange with two points so far in this game, and he will cash the free throw. Seven-point advantage still, though. Oh, Milakovic can't do that, sir. Offensive foul. That's number seven, but it won't amount to free throws because it's an offensive foul per the rules. Maestro heads it off to Bronkilla. Great defense. That's that size from Antana Show. Milakovic will elevate. Missed the crib. They'll get another chance. Can he hit another two ball? Saito going psycho right now. He's been crazy from two land. He knocks down his second, but then picks up a silly foul. And that will put uh, Mike Stolovic on the line to shoot two free throws. It's 13 to 4. Biggest lead in the game for Utsunomiya. Right. And that won't put the Maestro on the line. My bad. That'll put. Strahinia, Stojicic on the line. Shooting two. First of two. Count that. Strange and consistent free throw shooter. Hovers around 80%. He's 100% this time to the strike. Seven point game. Utsunomiya Brex playing with some confidence now as Saito goes to the fader. Came up shorter than the minion. Strahinia loses his footing. It's two on three for now as the maestro makes his move. Kicks it out to Brankiela. 13-8. Here, here come Oob. Here come Oob. 
That's where Utsunomiya Brex is going to have to maintain their composure. Brankovic, he will let it go. That one just misses. But you can never fall asleep against the world number one team. Atana Show spins free. Check out the hook. It falls. Maestro got some space. He gave him a taste. Maestro with the string music. Two-piece combo from Jukes to go. Take another look at Dayan Maestorovich. All net, all wet with the contact. That's a huge play. Because they'll also shoot a couple of free throws here. As that once nine-point lead is down to four and could be down to two. So when, when his team needs life, he puts his heart in it. Dejan Maestorovic. In his 10th year in FIBA 3x3 in the all-time leading score. Two big free throws all upcoming. A rare miss for Dejan Maestorovic who shot 92% from the free throw line a year ago. He'll have another one coming up and look to shake off that first miss and trim this game down to three points with 3.46 to go. And, oh, my goodness. You don't see that every day. Saito, off balance, no on the floaty. Strange, drops it off. Liu puts it in. We got a three-point game after all. Saito, he needs to go to Super Saiyan mode now. Step back. Passes it up. Milakovic, good D there from Strahinia. Dayan tracks it down over to Strange. Down low to Lou. That's a bucket. Here we go. It's a one possession game. Two points separate the two. And you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. There was no way U was going to lose this game by getting blown out by Utsunomiya. No disrespect to Utsunomiya. But this is U. Make no mistake about it. Atana show. Easy money for the big fella. So if you're Utsunomiya here, well, it's how do you stop a man who has sorcery on his side? That's Dr. Strange. He's going to do that. Back to a two-point game. This is where Marko Milakovic has got to prove the hype. Milakovic all up in his grill like Foreman. Oh, right back at you. Dr. Strange. Marvelous. 17-15. Here we go. Milakovic, can he hit another one? Step back. You don't know me like that. No cap from two range. Strahinia can't answer. It's a 19-15 contest. Milakovic all by himself. He can't charge him double that time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Timeout for Team Utsunomiya. Milakovic feeling it like a masseuse. Utsunomiya Brex who jumped out to, an, to a nine-point lead. They led it 13 to four. And that's when Oob started their rally. 2.13 to go. And this game is far from over. When you got maybe the best shooter that 3x3 has ever seen in Dejan Maestorovic. He works the two-man game with the beast. Prokovic straight on top of the key. Count those. Big two. Gets Oob within two again. Uh-oh. Did they throw that away or did Strange touch it? Uh, Utsunomiya throw it away. Utsunomiya throw it away. And they want to challenge it. it they they, they want to challenge. Okay, they do decide to challenge. We are in the two minutes. 
Now if Boots and Amia Brex lose this challenge, they cannot challenge it for the rest of the game. So I think this is worth taking an extra look at it, taking a closer look. At the very least, it will get Utsunomiya a, a breather. But we'll see. Oh, I don't I don't think that Strahinia touched that ball. From that angle, it looks like it's a, just a good old-fashioned turnover. Did it nick the mustache of Strange? No. Shout out to my guy, Noah Lazarus, because he just gave me a shout out. Appreciate you. 3x3, the energy. All right, so we'll see if Usanamiya can D up here. This is when Uber at their best, really, when their backs are against the wall. They trail it by two. My Stortovich created some space and just missed it long. Rebound goes to Usanamiya. They need a bucket in the worst way right now. Milakovic weaving through the defense. Atana show, good position. He's going to score it on Strahinha underneath. Great action there from, Uts from Utsunomiya to give him game point. Now they'll try to defend the two-point arc. Strange will kick it out to Brokovic. Brokovic hand up. So what? He is aflame right now. I don't know if Brokovic has missed a two. Big hit from the beast. Minute 25. Utsunam Oob have to defend without fouling. Utsunamiya Brex trying to pull up the upset of the day. Super Saiyan Saito, a Tuatana show for the game. No. Maestrovich with the rock now. Maestro to the beast. Strahinia with the hezzy. Pass the Tana show. We got an all even game. We're going to get a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. Super Saiyan Saito, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Strange in the lane for the lane. That's game. What a comeback from Oob. Your Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater courtesy of Strange. Take another look. You cannot give the world number one. A lane like that, and Utsunomiya just, list, they failed successfully. They failed successfully. Led the game by as many as nine points, and yet Oob would not be denied. They take it 21-20 to 20 in a Manila Thriller over Utsunomiya Brex. Wow. That, if Utsunomiya Brex had managed to hold on to that one, that would have been the type of win that they could, uh, they would remember for a long time. Instead, this one is going to sting for a long time. Led by nine points in that contest. But ooh, managed to right the ship. What a huge game. Another, another huge game by Marko Brankovic. He has been a star for Oob today. He's been ab an absolute torch from distance. That was a big two uh, right there from uh, Ryoma Saito. And you, you thought for just a second and Utsunomiya Brex, <laughs> they're going to shock the top-ranked team in the world? Nah, bruh. Utsunomiya says, hold your horses there, the voice. Don't forget, we're the best of the best for a reason. Credit to Utsunomiya Brex, they made it a game. But you got to play them, play Oob from horn to horn. And you got to get some fortune along the way. The beast was feasting. I believe he had four two balls in that game. 
none bigger than this one. That set up the game winner from Strahinia Stojicic, who puts the finishing touch on it with a layup. And that does it. Be fun when between Utenemia Brex and Manila to cap pool, play, pool A play uh, later on today. But in the meantime, we'll get to pool B action. And we'll get another look at Riga. Riga coming off a two-point loss to San Juan, courtesy of a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. There are two Olympians, two gold medal Olympians. Make sure I put some respect on their names. The ultimate warrior, Ag uh, Eggers Krumens, with Agnes Jabars, Miroslav Pashailic, and Singru Wu. Wu Tang forever. This should be an interesting contest because there's been a lot of whispering about keeping an eye on Dusseldorf in 2023. They certainly have uh, the, a collection of talent that can make, make some noise. They can shock some people. They're 21st in ranking, but they haven't played a bunch. But they're led by their German sharpshooter, Alan Boger. who's a doppelganger to Luka Doncic. He's out there with Bryant, Kevin Bryant, that is, KB. Nice initials, bro. With Bastian Landgraf and Nicholas Kropp. Nobody over 28 years old on this Dusseldorf team. And our officials are in place, smiling hard. Alex Talasainen and Slobodan Novakovic. As these two will uh, lace them up against each other for the first time here in 2023. Dusseldorf was able to qualify to this Manila Masters after finishing runner-up at the Lausanne SuperQuest. Got some nice wins including one over Antwerp in the semifinals. Of course, they relay, relied on the sharpshooting of, of Alan Bulger as Riga will need some sharpshooting from Miroslav Pashilic, but there's Bulger right there wearing number five in red. He had a scorching hot performance, 41 points, top the field. Also led in highlights as well to lead Dusseldorf to that final at the Lausanne SuperQuest. They also made it to the semifinals at the Ulubatar SuperQuest as well. But Dusseldorf, who played just one stop last season, a 10th place finish in Lausanne. Just a small sample size of the Germans on the world tour. So we'll see right here, right now. Let's go. Kyle Montgomery, AK The Voice, I'm with you. Have no fear when I'm in your ear. Kevin Bryant is in Pyshilich's personal space. I think Bryant's got the potential to be maybe the best defender in 3x3. Listen, I know. You got some really, you got Nemanja Badac as Chavar's cash is in from long range and of course, of course, Worthy D. Young, he's a, also another top-level defender. Dennis Donker. But I, I really think Kevin Bryant has the, the type of energy and effort on the defensive end to be, uh, be the best. Foul was drawn in the meantime. That's Bastian Landgraf. He's played uh, 47 games. Seven of those world tour, but seven, 47 pro 3x3 games. As Bryant will deliver the package underneath and get Dusseldorf on the board. Red dot. That one 
trickles off the rim. Red dot gra guarded Boulder. Oh, Boulder hit that one from District 7. I don't even know where that is. It's far away. 3-2. Boulder's a sniper. An absolute sniper from distance. One of the better shooters you'll see. Crewman says, I can shoot it too. Crew for two. I thought you knew. 4-2. Oh, that one just spit out. Chavars. Crewman couldn't keep it alive. Here's Crop. I like Crop's game too. Oh, Crop will swing it over. Boger, you know his, this is going up. It's Oh, these girls ain't loyal. The betrayal. Rim spit it out. Well, Boger almost had another long range bomb. Instead, it's 4 3 Rigas. We are a minute and a half into this Pool B contest here in Manila. By Shilich, gives it over to Chavars. Chavars, he was just pretending. The up fake sets up the layup drive, and he makes up for the miss. Foul on by Shilich. No argument from him. He said, yeah, I did it. So what? Well, the third foul is what? Dusseldorf trailing by two here. Crop swings it over. Bryant back to Crop. Crop to Bryant on the cut. He's held up by a foul. Here's Bryant assessing the defense and another quick foul on the inside, but this one goes against Dusseldorf. Landgraf the aggressor that time as Bryant will defend up top. Pyshilich trying to get rid of the pesky Bryant, but Bryant, he's on him like flies on you know what, stinky stuff. Offensive foul, Riga's fifth. Two point contest steals, we get back to it. Landgraf, driving left, nowhere to go. Throws it away, Bogart couldn't squeeze it. They couldn't even connect on a handshake. They gotta, they gotta fix some things. Dusseldorf's third. Pajalas with positioning. He decides to dribble out. Crossover. Oh. Missed it left. Chavars. Snagged the rebound, but he couldn't squeeze it. Out of bounds off of Black. Life after Batman and Robin for Riga. They're finding themselves having to fight much tougher to get wins. They can't lose here. They'll be done day one as they were in Shenzhen. Chavars to Krumans. Longtime teammates connecting on the layup. 6-3 Riga. Nicholas Krop drops it off. Landgraf delivers. Warning for Black. That's official Alex. He's not in the mood to hear it. That was a serious call. Warning Black for talking. Don't mess with that man. Red Dot with the step back. Chavars, oh, just out of reach. Did uh, Bryant touch it? I think, uh, I think they're going to give them uh, a little bit of time. As that did go off of red, looks like Chavars is a little bit shaken up as well as he has to the bench. So let's 
Let's see what they determine. However much time it is, it won't be, there won't be a lot. So Riga will have to force up a, a desperation shot here with, let's see, point five. Five tenths of a second. So we'll see a heave here from Red Dot. Red Dot, oh, just barely misses that. Quick hands, he gets the steal. A cleaner look this time, but a miss. Strong rebound underneath from Xing Gui Lu. Red Dot so TV timeout time. In a 6-4 contest. Some narrow misses. From Dusseldorf. Shingui Wu. A new face for Riga. As he will miss that one off the front iron. Bryant does his dance, drops it over to land grab, quickly swings it over to Boger. Boger's on the move. Uh uh. Access denied. Gets it back and throws up a wild shot. Loose ball ends up in Edgar's crewman's hands. Crew. Crew. Oh. That one also spit out. We've seen a bunch of those kind of misses in this game. There would be a, a whole lot more scoring going on. Have we not seen some just really, really close misses? The ball's halfway down and just comes out. Both teams. Landgraf now, he'll drive left, trying to use that size. And a bad pass as he throws it away. Open man underneath, it's Woo, Woo. He's fouled by Landgraf. So a bad possession there from Landgraf, who first turned it over, then gets whistled for the shooting foul. Five fouls apiece as Woo will step up to the line and look to add to Riga's two-point advantage. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice, I'm with you. If you want to be with me, give me a follow. At 3x3 The Voice. At 3x3 The Voice on the gram. Oh, you better get a hand up. Or maybe not. Don't listen to me. So Boger got a good look that time and just missed it. Dusseldorf stuck at four. And here comes Riga again. Foul called on Bryant. Judging from his face, I don't think he exactly agreed. Great defense there from Landgraf. Crop. There's Nicholas with a two-piece combo. Gets Dusseldorf within one. Kevin Bryant will check out. Boger's in. Crops the young, the young boy on the team. So he's not going to get that substitution first. Crop 25 as Boger gets to the land grab. Back to Crop. And not that time. Last year's leading rebounder, Agnes Chavar, snags it, another one. Oh, but it's taken right back. Boger, quick trigger. And comes up shy. Crewman's up fake. Ball fake. Nice pass. Shovels it over to Chavars and it's 8 6. Boger. Stroke is broke. Boger cannot keep up with Crewman's. He's deceptively quick. Oh, Landgraf forces the shot. Landgraf, crop, whoa. There's another one of those spit out. Crop, oh, he sold it at the rim. Oh, and Boger, he is, uh, he finally, 
Hits one from the logo. 9-8, Krumens. It's a misfire. Riga's lead down to one. Crop, nobody home. Crop goes up top. We're all even. Nine apiece. Crew. Nice pass to the cutting woo. Riga back out in front. Crop's a streaky shooter. That lefty slingshot stroke is missed. Crop comes away with it. Crop, quick draw, McGraw, he went to art school. 11-10, Dusseldorf. Crop's got the magic touch right now. And a lefty stroke. Quickly behind the two-point arc. And he doubles up. Been a tight game. Dusseldorf have had some issues scoring. As we saw him trailing by two. Now they lead by one. As they've jumped in front, thanks to a couple of two balls, Nicholas Krop. By Shilich, nice drive, penetrates. Oh, and Krop gets called for the foul. Seventh on Dusseldorf, two free throws upcoming. Krop is out, Boger is in. Woo, cannot knock down the first of two. They split a pair. It's Woo, evens things up. Oh. Oh, he just made Woo do the karaoke dance. Crossover, bucket, Kevin Bryant. There's the Millie Rock right there, right to left, off balance, right off the square, a fist pump, reminiscent of the late, great Kobe Bryant. This Bryant has Dusseldorf up 13-11. Red dot, over to the ultimate warrior. Now the net's dripping, 13 apiece. Oh. Crop with a nice move, way off target on the layup. And that'll leave by Shilich, wide open lane. Crop now. Jess comes up short. Landgraf will clear it. He'll give Crop another chance. Crop thinking about the two instead. He'll hit Landgraf on the drive, lefty lay. And we're knotted again, 14-14. Oh, look at Chavars. Chavars is a capable two-point shooter. It's kind of like Bill Cartwright's release, but it's money. And thanks to him, Riga lead it by one, despite that score from Dusseldorf, 2-13 to play in this full B game. And Riga, with their backs against the wall, if they want to play day two, they got to win now. Of course, Dusseldorf will play San Juan. The Puerto Ricans looking strong. By Shilich, off balance and off the mark. They I believe they say red ball. No.
Don't black ball. By Shilich. Good defense. Under two minutes to go is crunch time. Abdomen. Dusseldorf trailing by a single point. Oh, and uh, Pyshylis took a shot to the head. Go red with the free throw make. And knocks down the second, Riga, with some breathing room. 18-15. Crop with an ill-advised two-point attempt. And it cannot get that one to go with a minute 30. Screwman's drives. Oh, he got treated like spam. Blocked that. Used both hands for the denial. An athletic move there by Krop. With five seconds to shoot, it's Pyshylich fading away. Missed it left. He'll get the rebound up to Crew. Crewman's driving. Has a collision. I hope he's got triple A. Offensive foul is called. So while Dusseldorf have eight fouls, Riga pick up a seventh. As the Rock goes over to Red with a minute 27 to go, Landgraf right past the defense of Chavars. A one possession game. Two point difference. They came, oh, by Shilas, got the step. And Krop is called for the foul. Gave him a bump on his way up. Pyshylich will go back to the line. We just saw him knock down a couple of free throws. Two more will give him game point here. And the pressure, if Riga wins this one, the pressure then shifts to Dusseldorf and their game against San Juan. But Riga could save themselves. Pyshylich is good. Missed a second. So if you're Dusseldorf here, even though they're not the most experienced team, they got to know that you don't have to force a two. And apparently they were listening. Take what the defense gives them. And the layup goes. Back to a two possession game. Now they just got to play some defense here. As Pyshylich pulls up. Nope. Grazes the rim and out of bounds. Under a minute. Two ball corner. Nah. Oh, Crewman's will put it away. Right between the eyes. 21-17. Riga, stay alive. Take another look. I'm loving the crew. I'm loving the crew. I'm loving the crew. Riga's loving the crew, too. Big, 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 big win. Dusseldorf stumble in their first contest. Cannot underestimate Riga. Although they are new, newly made. This is how they made their way into the win category. 
a tight game. Close one really throughout. Saw some narrow misses, but I think the experience of Riga really shown through here. And defensive plays like that from Agnes Chavez. Protecting the rim and clever passing from Edgar's Crewmans. And they were out, able to outduel the German gunman. Allen Boger and company pull away with a four point victory. Riga 21, Dusseldorf 17. Next game on deck, we will see Amsterdam High Pro and Fushian. That one's going to be fun. That's a 6 p.m. start for that game. So we're about 10 minutes away. So another chance for a brief break before we get back to the action. Pool C on the way. Amsterdam High Pro and Fushian after a Riga win over Dusseldorf. Stick around. More to come from here in Manila.